Hi guys, welcome to Car Mechanical. Today I'm going to show you how to change the oil and filter on your Audi A4 B6 2.5 litre V6 TDI. So to start with, we're going to open the bonnet and we're going to remove the engine cover and we're also going to jack the car up. So now we've got those things done and the main reason I'm jacking this here is my car might be slightly lower than yours. We're going to go straight in and we're going to undo the oil cap. So I'm using a 32mm half inch socket. And I'm just going to loosen the cap at the moment. I'm going to come back to it to do anything else with it a little bit later, but I just want it loose before I remove the oil sump plug underneath. So we're going to come underneath the car and then using a 19 mil socket. Now you can use a spanner. I'm using this for length and so I can film it, but I'm going to undo the sump plug and that's going to drain into an oil catch can that I've got underneath it. So it's got a nice sort of funneling effect. So when you let the oil out into it, it funnels it all into the can. So you don't need to do this thing, put it into a catch pan and then pouring that all in. However, you might want to let the oil out a bit slower to start so it doesn't dribble down the side like I've done or just position the pan in a better way. Okay, so once we've let all of the oil out, what we need to do is fully undo the cap on top. That's going to release any oil in that, and that will drop down into the can underneath as well. We're not going to take the filter out yet. What we're going to do is once it's all drained out, we're going to put the sump plug back in. So you're going to clean it up with a tissue first just so it's nice to grip and it's not going to slip anywhere. And we're going to get that tightened up. And I only tend to do these hand tight and then a tiny bit more. Uh, I don't do it to any specific torque, I just do it till it feels right for me. Now the next thing we're going to do is to remove that oil filter. Now you don't have to do what I've done here, but I've just used paper towels to pick up any oil that might drip about. And I'm just using a cut open bottle, a 5 litre screen wash bottle just to put the filter straight into. I'm really trying to avoid getting any oil onto the engine because if you've ever made the mistake or you know it just happens you get oil onto the engine, it stinks when it burns. So we've got the new oil filter here. So let's take the existing oil filter out and it is a push fit so it just pulls off of the cap. So you take the old one off and dispose of that, you're going to put the new one on. Now you should change your o-ring as well, sometimes I skip this but I really shouldn't so I'm changing it here. So take the old o-ring off, throw that away, get the new o-ring that should come with the new filter and pop that on as well. And as I showed you just then, I tend to use Bosch filters, I try and go for the highest quality ones, I've heard horror stories of oil filters disintegrating. However, my oil frequency change, I tend to do it every 5,000 miles. It shouldn't matter, but I just like to take that extra safeguard. So once the O-ring is changed, put the filter back in, screw it in hand tight, and then after that, we're gonna go at it with your ratchet, so it's 32 mil again, and you're just gonna tighten it to hand tight. You do not need to go nuts here. This is plastic, you do not wanna crack it. So the next thing, take the oil filter cap off, you're going to use a funnel and not the makeshift funnel I've made here because I couldn't find the funnels that I did have. And then you're going to pour your oil in. Now, if you do recognize the bottle on this, I am using a semi-synthetic oil. You should be using a fully synthetic oil on a 2.5 litre V6 TDI. I'll cover that in other videos, which you can wear. But this is a flushing oil that I'm using today. So once it's in, check your oil level. And when you're happy with that, so that's actually reaching halfway up the dipstick, you can't see because it's clear. Or well, you may be able to see, I struggle to see that here. And once you've got the right level, put your cap back on, wipe up any excess oil, because I mentioned you know the smell of burning oil, it's not great. Stick the engine cover back on, close your hood. And one of the nice things in our cars is we have a nice check indicator on the dash. So we're gonna go into the car, we're gonna start the engine, and when we check the check button, it just tells us that all the levels are okay. So that's it for this video. Typically, an oil and filter change will cost you about 30 pound, give or take using a fully synthetic oil and a wash filter. I hope you found this video useful. If you do have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section down below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. Share this video with anyone you think would enjoy it and it would be handy to hit that like button, and more than anything, thank you for watching.